Hey everyone, my name is Bianca Bombshell and thanks so much for tuning in to watch this tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to do just a basic hot roller set. For the majority of the styles that I have, I use this set, so it's very beneficial to learn how to do this. And um, I did create this style with the hot rollers. It's very simple. This is just pinned on both sides, which I'll show you how to do a, a few minutes down the line. But uh, thanks so much and enjoy the video. Okay, so what you want to do to start is you want to take the front portion of your hair a good section like this depending on how thick your hair is of course that's going to depend on how much hair you want to take so you have this front portion of your hair here just give the rest a little brush and get it out of the way and you take your hot rollers I like to start with the biggest and I curl going towards the head just like this If you have any flyaway hairs like this, just grab them as you're going and tuck them under. So now you should have a roll just at the top of your head like this. And then fasten the pin in there and make sure it's nice and tight. I would like to start the top of my head with all the biggest rollers that I have. And I'll put one on this side and then one on the other side. So just quickly, always keeping the curl going up towards my head just because it's a lot easier to keep the roller in that way and it's also a lot easier to take it out later. You're not going to get it caught on your hair. Now I have a lot of hair, so I put quite a lot of hair into the hot roller. Um, I just like to keep the rollers in my hair for about 30 minutes while I do my makeup. And this is on freshly washed and blow dried hair. I don't put any product in it, I just go ahead and do the curl and leave it in, as I said, while I'm doing my makeup, and then I'm ready to take it out to style. Okay, so from here, I'll grab a section about this big, and I'll take the medium size, and I want to go upwards towards the head again, just like this. This one's being finicky. There you go, buddy. Okay, so now you want to do the other side. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. It always helps if you sing. <laughs> but it helps relax me. Sometimes when I, I do all my own makeup and hair, so except for one photo shoot, but um, sometimes I can get pretty stressed out if I'm trying to get everything perfect and I know that it's going to be for photos, so it can be really hard to get everything right. So I find that singing is a great way just to kind of calm the nerves. Even if you don't sing anything, you can just kind of hum. Okay, so now I'm going with the littlest rollers. These are going to give me the really tight ringletty curls. I like to put these closest to my face because Oftentimes, this is the portion of hair I'm going to use to bring back and make a victory roll. So I like to keep these nice and tight because it's going to make it a lot easier to roll with the fingers. Once again, I'm just rolling it up and towards my face. Okay, so now I've just got a little bit of portion of hair at the back. Give it a little brush, and then I like to come and start just right here. Grab the patch. I'm still with the smallest roller because the my hair anyway is quite thick at that portion of the head so I like to make sure that I'm still using the little rollers because I find that they also make the curl the best. Okay so now just the last portion of hair. Really I'll just use whatever rollers I have left so I have a few mediums and a few smalls and I'll just kind of Separate those and portion them out accordingly. Okay, just two more left and I'm done. And with this style, um, or with this setting rather, I do this with all of my styles except my really, really spiral curly hair, which I will have a tutorial for. I use 
little rubber rollers from the dollar store for that look. All right, so now for the last one. I'm still remaining to roll it towards myself like this, keeping all the hair in check. And I want to put this last one in at the bottom. It just doesn't want to go in. It's difficult. And then you're ready. So I like to just give it a quick spray. Always cover your face, don't worry about it. Not very much because you obviously don't want it to hold like this. You want it to just set. So go do your makeup, get ready, and we'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to remove them now. Starting with the last one you put in, or I like to start at the bottom. Just unroll them, and when you take them out, um, just go like this. Curl them again almost, just whoop, whoop, back the way you came. And I like to take my fingers and twist it just to kind of mold the curl. Now this is not actually for curling my hair. This is for styling my hair. So I'm going to show you how to do a couple of styles with this set. This is always my basic setup. Just twist. So once again, when you take it out, just twist it out like this. And if you get anything caught, which oftentimes you do, you just have to be really careful taking it out. Just be really, really gentle, really gentle, and then unfurl. And so far I have this really nice sort of playful curl. Okay, so I'll do this one now. Now oftentimes I'll do half up and half down styles and for that I will go back in with a hot roller and I will recurl my hair, something like this. And I will talk a little bit later about what to do if you want to travel with your curls and you want to keep your curls. Okay, so now I'm just going to take out the few from the top. Just wrapping around my finger and then gently letting it go. The last two. Okay, there we go. And I've only had these in probably for about seven minutes. I really didn't have them in very long. I just went out and chatted with my friend and then I was done. Okay, so now you're done. Now you have, whoop, <laughs> there's actually one I missed. It happens, I have a lot of hair. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So for that one, I'll just kind of let it fall out of my hair because I don't want it to get caught. Okay, so now I have this beautiful curl to my hair. It's nice and voluptuous. It's got a good body to it. Now from here, I can pretty much do any style. You can, um, if you want, you can take your bangs and really give them some lift and some body. You can tease them and kind of have it go up and over and make a really nice just shape to your hair. But I find with the hot rollers, you don't have to do that. You already have this beautiful shape. So with this look, one thing I really like to do is just do the one side. And this is just for casual wear every day. So what you want to do is you want to just quickly make this a clean part. I use the tip of a bobby pin. Just so it looks nice and clean. You don't have to do it. But. And just take a small portion of your hair, about this much. It's really not very much. And then I take it and I twist. You want to twist your hair like that. So twist, twist. Now, with that twist, you take your bobby pin and you go upwards towards the head. And then you take a second bobby pin, and what you want to do is you want to cross that over and into the roll that you just created. Take just a little bit of hairspray. All right. 
Now, if you have blonde hair, I just suggest getting the bronze body pins. I happen to have the extra long bronze body pins and the small ones because I, I've often had blonde hair. So I like to keep bronze just always. Black always show up and um, they don't make clear bobby pins. I don't know why. I think that'd be brilliant. Okay, so now you just have this cute little look. And if you want, you can go to the other side. That's very classic looking. So for that, it would just be the same thing. Just grab the portion of your hair, whatever you want, and then just twist it. All you have to do is just twist your hair. Super easy. And then just a quick little bobby pin. Depending on how thick your hair is, you might not have to cross the bobby pin with another one. I have very thick hair, so I like to make sure that I cross it. If you have two sizes of bobby pins, I suggest using the longest pin for this, and then the shortest pin for this one. And that's just going to keep that solid, just like that for the day. And then a little bit dose of hair medicine to keep everything in place. There you go.